In this bonus video, let's do two things. Let's update our template that we created in the second video in this video series, and also look a bit how does the PS App Deploy Toolkit remember the deferral? Where does it write that information? So let's start by updating our template. So here in our download, we had the PS App Deploy Toolman Kit. We had all these example folders where you have some good uh, example for some software that you can look at. And you also have the change log and the very nice PDF. We don't want those stuff in the actual package. That takes space and we have to upload and everything. But everything here in the toolkit, all this we want. So I'm going to do a Control A. A Control, I will actually do an X. You can do a C. I will cut this. And then we're going to go to our template. And I have mine under underscore Intune directly on C on the root. And then I have my template. And then we have the manufacturer software and then the version. So this is the template we use for each new package. And that's done in video two in this area. Then on the source, here we want all this. I'm going to do a control V. So here we want all our files. So now we have updated the template. So when we in a later video, which we're going to do soon, we're going to do a Google Chrome with PS App Deployment Toolkit. We just need to copy this folder and create a new package. And we already have the skeleton template. So that's great. Um, okay, so that was the first part. The second part I want to show in this video, what actually happens when you run and you do defer and you say you want to defer three times? Is that a setting in Intune or somewhere in the App Deployment Toolkit? Well, let's take a look. So if we run source here now and run our deploy deploy dash application.exe, nothing will actually happen, but we get the defer. Or actually, before I run this, by default, it's actually looking if Internet Explorer is started. So I'm going to start Internet Explorer just for that. So we get to see that it's going to complain, not really complain. It's going to make us aware that Internet Explorer is started. So I close that one, but minimize, it's still started. Okay, so I'm going to right click and run as administrator and say yes. And then now it's loading uh, everything in the background, all the PowerShell script, and soon we're going to get the welcome prompt. Okay, so here it's maybe a bit small, but it's saying that Internet Explorer is started. So it says, do you want to close? If we close, it's going to start the installation, which at this time is nothing. You see, it took our banner and the icon. But you see here, here it says remaining deferrals 3. If I click on defer, everything's going to shut down and it's actually going to give an exit code for error. So for configuration manager or for Intune and everything knows that, OK, it didn't succeed. It will try again. So let's put defer and you see it says three here. If we run it again, so let's right click and run it again. We should have two deferrals left, right? So let's see if that's the case. So I'm going to click run. It's going to take a little time here again. So here it's, I still haven't shut down the Internet Explorer. And you see here remaining the first two. How does it know that it's two now? Where is that saved? It's written into the registry. So let's look in the regedit. Yes. And if we go HK local machine software, under software, it has now created a PS app deployment toolkit folder. And under there, there's a defer history. And for each application, now I haven't named this one in the file, but we we're going to do that later to Google Chrome. Then it's going to be Google Chrome. If I click on this one, you see here it says defer, deferral times remaining to two. If I now click on deferral again, this is going to change to one. So I click defer here. Uh, let the error message uh, pop up first. Should come soon. There, not complete. That's true because I deferred. I thought it will come one more pop up. Maybe not. Okay. So if we now go under view and refresh or hit F5, this value should now change to one. And it does. And so that's where it keeps the deferral. I'll run this one, finish it for once. So run as administrator, say yes. And I'm going to say close. And you see, the, I'll, I'll start the uh, Internet Explorer. Oh, it's going to minimize it. I'm going to restart uh, start it up again. Okay, 
So I'll put Internet Explorer here. As soon as I click Close Program, it's going to close uh, Internet Explorer and then run whatever script we have under Files. Or it's going to run Deploy Application and run the files. But we have nothing there, so nothing's really going to happen. So let's hit Close Program here. And it closed Internet Explorer for me. And now it has started and running its thing. So that's what I wanted to show in um, this uh, quick video. So basically, we updated our template. And where does the deferral and PS app deployment toolkit keep the data? It keeps it locally in the registry. So very well done. Thank you very much.